Namaste friends. Welcome back to my channel. Friends, in my series for my beginner friends, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to bezel an 8mm pearl with right angle weave stitch. You can use this bezel as a base for your bigger earrings. And here I'm going to show you how to make a cute little pearl stud with this bezel. So here you can see the stud that we are going to make in this video. So let us see what all material do we need to make this cute little pearl stud. Friends, for making our pearl bezel with right angle weave stitch, I'm going to use these 8 mm pearls in olive green color. Then I'm using these 11 O's. These are Muki Frosted Opaque Glaze Rainbow Peacock 11 O's. And then I'm using 15 O's in two colors. If you want, you can use 15 O's in the single color. But here in this earring, I'm going to use these 15 O's in two different shades. This is Muki Duracoat Galvanized Silver 15 O's. And this one is Muki Duracoat Galvanized Dark Seafoam 15 O's. Then I'm going to use these ear poster of size 4 by 12 mm. I'll be working with Muki Thread and size 12 beading needle. So let's get started. Friends, for bezeling our 8 mm pearl with right angle weave stitch, I'm going to pick up these four 11 o seed beads in frosted opaque glazed rainbow peacock color. And here I'm bringing these down. You can take any color of 11 o seed beads. And now I'm going to tie a double knot like this. Very carefully, like this. And now holding these threads, I'm going to pass through this 11 o and pull this tail in between the 11 o and I'm going to pass through all the four 11 o's pulling the tail in between these beads Like this, and into the first 11 o. So, here this is my first right angle weave component. You can see the tail is coming out from the bottom of this 11 o, and we are going to hold this component like this. And now I'm exiting through the top of this 11 o. And now I'm going to pick up three 11 O's as I already have the fourth one through which I'm exiting right now. And I'm going back into this 11 O, making a circle like this. I'm going to pass through all these four 11 O's once again. into the bottom one so here are my two right angle weave components into the 11 o the top of the second component and into this 11 o on the side of this second component so here are my two draw components i'm going to make my third Draw component. So again, I'm picking up three 11 O's and I'm going to pass through this 11 O through which I am exiting right now. Like this. Once again, into all these four 11 O's. Like 
this. Into the bottom 11 O and into the 11 O on the side. So here I have added three right angle weave component. I'm adding my fourth right angle weave component. So again, I'm picking up three 11 O's. I'm going to pass through this 11 O from the bottom as I'm exiting through this from the top. Again, making a circle with these four 11 O's. Going to pass through all the four 11 O's once again. Down into this 11 O at the bottom. Up to the 11 O. Into the 11 O at the top. And into the 11 on the side like this I have added four right angle weave component and I'm going to make the fifth one again picking up three 11 O's going down to the 11 O as I'm exiting through the bottom of this 11 O again making a circle I'm going to pass through all the four 11 O's. Down. Into the bottom 11 O and the one on the side. Like this. So here I have made one, two, three, four, and five right angle weave component. And you can see right now I'm exiting through the 11 O on the side of this right angle weave component chain. And now I'm going to pick up my 8 mm pearl and pass through the 8 mm pearl like this. Now, after passing through this ATM and pearl, I'm going to pass through this 11 O on the other side of the chain, like this. So, here you can see, and now going back into the item member and into the 11 O. Now here you can see when I passed through the pearl, I was exiting through this side of the 11 O and now I'm going to pass through the opposite side of the 11 O, tying it firmly with my pearl like this. So here our half bezel is done and now I'm going to add this bezel ring on the other half of our pearl. So right now I'm exiting through this 11 O. So I'm going to pick up three 11 O's and add my sixth right angle weave component to this chain like this again passing through all these four 11 O's down like this so here I have added my sixth right angle weave component into the 11 O on the side. Now adding my seventh right angle weave component. So picking up these three 11 O's and passing through the 11 O like 
this. into all the four eleven o's to the eleven o so here is my seventh row component adding my eighth row component so in the same manner i'm going to add my eighth and ninth row component and come back so here i have added sixth seventh eighth and ninth row component and now i'm going to attach this ninth component to my first row component so here you can see this is my first row component and is this one is my ninth row component and right now i'm exiting through this 11 o of my ninth row component and here this is the 11 o from the first component now we are going to join these two 11 o's to make our 10th row component so here after exiting through this 11 o i'm going to pick up one 11 o and pass through this 11 o from my first draw component like this now picking up one more 11 o and into this 11 o of my ninth draw component like this so here is my 10th draw component and now i'm going to pass through all these four 11 o's once again to reinforce and to make a firm ring for my reserve case into the 11. So here you can see the bezel ring around our pearl and now you can see right now I'm exiting through this 11 and now I'm going to pick up one 11 o and pass through the next 11 o like this again picking up one 11 o pass through the next 11 o of the next row component again picking up one 11 o and passing through this next 11 o of the next row component so in this way i'm going to add these 11 o's on the top here as we have added 10 row components in our base ring so we are going to add 10 11 o's here on the top so here you can see i have added one two three four you can easily see the 11 o's that i have added are just popping out on the top so you can count easily one two three and four 11 o's that i have added just now and i'm going to add six more to complete this ring on the top so here i'm adding my fifth 11 o sixth 11 o seventh 11 o eighth 11 o Ninth, and the tenth eleven o on the top. So here we're done. And now after adding all the ten eleven o's, you can see right now I'm exiting through this eleven o, and I'm going towards the back side through this eleven o, and into. 11 o and here before adding my 11 o i'm going to cut this tail off very carefully and now 
I'm going to add the 11 O's as I have done on the top on this side also. So again, I'm picking a one 11 O and passing through this next 11 O. Again, picking up my second 11 O, passing through the next 11 O. And this way, I'm going to add my 10 11 O's on this side and come. And now you can see I'm adding my last 11 O of this side on the back side. And this is the look from the back and the front. You can choose any, the, any side as the front. So going down through this 11 O into this 11 O and into the next one that we added in the last round. So here, after exiting through this 11 O, now I'm going to add 15 O's. So for this, I'm going, I'm picking up one 15 O dark sea foam. So this is my 15 O and I'm going to pass through this 11 O like this. Again, picking up one 15 O, passing through the next 11 O. Again, picking up one 15 O into the next 11 O, like this. Picking up one 15 O dark sepo and into the 11 O, like this. Picking up one fifteen o, passing to the eleven o. Then picking up one fifteen o, into the eleven o. So, in this round, I'm adding ten fifteen o's. If you are a beginner, I would suggest you to count your beads while adding in any row. Once you have mastered this technique, you won't need to count. But in the beginning, it's better to count so that you may not get wrong and start it all over again. So it's better to count your beads while adding different rows. So here I have added 10 15 O's once again. And now after adding this 10 15 O, I'm stepping up into my first 15 O like this. So this is the look after adding the 15 O's. And you can see the bezel ring is coming closer by closing this bezel case from the top. So now I'm going to do the next round with my 15 O's in silver color. You can use a single color 15 O's, but here I'm using two different colors of 15 O's. So this is my 15 O silver. And I'm passing through this next 15 O dark sea foam. Again, picking up one 15 O silver. And passing through this next. 15 or dark sea foam. So here I'm just adding my 15 O's. I have added three 15 O's in this round, and this is my fourth 15 O. My fifth 15 O. Sixth 15 O silver. Seven fifteen or silver. Eight fifteen or silver. Nine. 
and matter pertino servo so here is the look after completing this round and stepping up into the first 15 of silver and here putting my thread tight into the 15 of C form and into the 11 of underneath and moving to the back into the 11 o these two 11 o's like this now again i'm going to add my row of 15 o c form so here i have added my first 15 o c form second 15 o c form so as we have added these 15 o c form on the front, I'm going to add these 15 o c form at the back and come back. Now here I'm adding my last, that is the 10th 15 o c form into the 11 o and stepping up into the first 15 o c form like this. You can see the look and after stepping up into this first 15 o c form, I'm going to add my row of 15 o silver so here adding my first 15 of silver second 15 of silver third 15 of silver so here i have added three 15 o's i'll be adding seven more and come back and now I'm adding my 10th 15 of silver and stepping up into the first 15 of silver that I added in this round. So here you can see the look after completing this round. And now after exiting through this first 15 of silver, I'm going to pass through the next 15 of silver. So you can see I'm passing through this pair of 15 O's, pair of 15 O's silver without adding any bead. And now I'm going to pick up one 15 O's silver and pass through the next pair of 15 O's silver. So here actually I'm following a pattern, adding one bead and skipping the other. So in this round, I'm going to add five beads in this manner. So I have added one, skip the next one so this is my second 15 o that i'm adding i have skipped the next one my third 15 o silver passing through the next pair of 15 o's 15 o silver picking up my fourth 15 o silver and passing through the next pair of 15 o silver And picking up my fifth 15 of silver and into the next pair of 15 of silver. You can see I'm passing through the two 15 of together. So in this round, I have added one, two, three, four, and five 15 of. And now I'm stepping up into the first 15 of silver that I added in this round. And now Again, picking up one 15 of silver into the next 15 of my second 15 of now third 15 of fourth 15 of and fifth 15 of silver so here again i have added five 15 of silver friends if you want to use this bezeled pearl this right angle weave bezeled pearl 
as a dangler you can add the loop on the top here and if you want to use it as a stud so here i'm showing you how you can add the ear post for your stud so here i'm using this ear post of about 4 by 12 mm size so i'm going to place it in this net that we have created at the back if you don't want to use it as a stud you can just close the bezel at the back and make a loop on the top here and use it just put in the ear wire into the loop and use it as a dangler so here you can see i have placed my ear post into this and stepping up into the first 15 of silver that i added in this round very carefully we have to add this row of 15 o's which would be our last row of 15 o's so after stepping up into this first 15 o's silver that i added in the last round i'm picking up one 15 o's silver into the next 15 o's silver added in the last round second 15 o's silver very carefully we have to add the beads here Third 15 of silver. Fourth, sorry. Fourth 15 of silver. And fifth 15 of silver. Very carefully, we have to do this last round like this. So here we have just closed our bezel case and fixed this ear post. And now I'm stepping up into the first 15 that I added in this last round. And I'm going to pass through all the five 15 that we have added in the last round. So here into the second 15 o into the third 15 o into the fourth 15 o fifth 15 o into the first 15 o like this so uh, we have taken two rounds in this last set of 15 holes and we are going to take one more round with this last uh, this last set of 15 holes and the one before it so here after exiting through this 15 i am going down through this 15 -0. up through the 15 o of the last round into this 15 o of the second last round into the into this 15 o of the last round into the 15 of the second last round and into the first 15 of the last round down to this 15 of the second last round and into the 15 of the third round third last round into the 15 of the second last round into this 15 of the third last round we have to fix our ear post here so we are taking passes through all the rows
just to fix it firmly so that it won't move from its place. To the 15 here and down to this 15. Now you can see our ear post is not moving, it is fixed now. Taking passes through these leads into these. Pair of fifteen holes. Turn into this pair of fifteen holes. And into this pair of 15. So here we have fixed our ear post, and this is our stud earring with this pearl bezel with right angle weave stitch. You can also use this as the base for any kind of earring and add embellishment on the side of this, on the edge of this stud. Otherwise, you can use this as a stud alone. So friends, here we have completed our 8mm pearl bezel with right angle weave stitch. You can see we have made a cute little pearl stud with this. If you want to make it into a dangler, you can add a loop on the top here and a drop at the bottom and you can make a cute little dangler earrings. If you want to add the embellishment on this pearl stud, you can add this on the edge of this pearl stud and i'll be showing you how to add the embellishment around this pearl stud in my upcoming videos so friends if you like this tutorial please do subscribe to my channel and please don't forget to press the bell icon so that you may get notified when i'll upload my next video thank you and namaste